currently working November 6347 Charlie. His name is Devin Miller, uh, the pilot of this aircraft. He is currently in an emergency situation. His throttle is stuck. Are you, uh, are you on, is he in the, in flight? Yes, he is in flight. Uh-oh, okay. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We decided to share this video and pass on along our experience of our first real emergency situation. This ended up being a power off landing with the family on board. Uh, we had a stuck throttle and uh, you'll see in the video some of the things that we did kind of thinking through the situation. Uh, we ended up doing some orbits around the airport, staying nice and close. Just, you know, you lose confidence in your engine. You want to make sure that you're that you're uh, in gliding distance. We certainly appreciated having that nice long 10,000 foot runway below us that we knew was there from, from the pre-flight, from the, from the cross country planning, but also the, those intersecting runways. So if we did lose the engine during the troubleshooting at any point, um, we would uh, we'd be able to have a few different options there. So the rest of the time was really spent just kind of chair flying, if you will, and okay, this power off is going to be a little bit different. I can come back alive with the mixture, and if I leave the master and the mags on, uh, my engine should restart, and then I can really do a go around. So if I'm on the wrong side of those thousand foot markers when I, well, after I've, I've shut down my engine, and I don't like the way it's looking, um, I could do a go around or a missed approach and, uh, and and try it again. The key things in my mind were aviate, fly the plane. I don't want to be a part of a story that starts with. Um, somehow getting kind of fixated on on the problem and the troubleshooting. I wanted to make sure that I really thought through that restart procedure if I needed to and really worked the rest of my time on, okay, you're at 140, 150 knots. You got to get below gear speed. Um, how do you lose your altitude? How do you get below gear speed? Drop your gear before shutting down the engine. And if you can't do that, what are you going to do with a manual gear extension? And, and just work through that in my mind so that we we're good and comfortable with um, going in for it. You'll see at the very end, the video and the, and the ATC audio is a little bit disconnected. Um, I, well, I felt it was important to show just how much teamwork the ATC guys were doing. So um, I left it that way. I hope everyone can take something from this and, and you know, ideally... I think it would be great if people saw this story and had a chat with their CFI and just said, hey, what would I do differently or what would I do? And um, hopefully we all become a little bit better pilots from having gone through or sharing the experience. All right. Enjoy. Center, Center Arrow 6347 Charlie, 4000, direct Meridian. Center 6347 Charlie, Mount Center, good afternoon. Uh, Meridian, Altimeter 3002. 02, good afternoon. 4000, Charlie. Six three four seven Charlie, advise whether or crash advise any other current aid is for uh, key field. You plan a visual approach. We we'll plan a visual and uh, aid is still not in range. What's the guy? Roger. Okay. And approach arrow six three four seven Charlie has with T. Arrow four seven Charlie, Roger. Thanks. Arrow four seven Charlie, you can be number two space on meridian from the north. All right, Roger that. Four seven Charlie. Nero 6347, Charlie, fly heading 240, vector sequence. 240, 47, Charlie. Nero 47, Charlie, you expect your clearance in about two minutes. Your traffic's about uh, two miles north. It should be VFR with the tower on the ground here shortly. Approach Nero 6347, Charlie. Nero 6347, Charlie, go ahead. 6347, uh, stand by. Uh, 6347 Charlie, we're going to declare an emergency. Uh, I have no throttle, con throttle control. I'm at uh, 25 inches of pressure and I cannot reduce throttle. Number 47 Charlie, Roger, and uh, say intentions and uh, passengers on board. Uh, we have four souls on board and uh, I'm trying to see if I can get. Uh, any kind of control here of the throttle, uh, playing with uh, any lever that I can. Uh, and we have uh, two and a half hours still remaining. Okay, we'll show uh, two and a half hours of fuel. And you said, a, is it a stuck throttle then, or is it? Affirmative stuck throttle, 47 Charlie. Or 47 Charlie, roger. And uh, 
I can give you the option of your present heading or uh, maneuvers as needed. And uh, are you able to climb at all so we can keep you on the uh, radar display here? Affirmative, uh, we can climb 47 Charlie. 47 Charlie, climb maintain 5,000, and uh, we'll just uh, uh, keep me uh, keep me advised on the uh, the status of that. We'll just show present heading for now. If you need something else, advice. Roger that, and in case I do get the, uh, in case I do get control, I'd like to probably just maneuver around the field, 47 Charlie, with a wide orbit. Roger. And November 4-7, Charlie, if, if you if it works for you and want to just stay close to the airport, uh, we can have you fly an arc around the VOR on your current uh, DME. Uh, stand by 4-7, Charlie. Uh, we might do an arc around using uh, GPS if I use the, if I use the airport. Um, we could do that best. That's probably best for the Charlie. 47 Charlie, uh, approved as requested. You can maneuver as you need to, and I was just suggesting that to keep you close. And uh, I just, yeah, if you want to go with the arc around key field, that'll work also. Just said, Buzz. All right, how about an eight mile, uh, actually, yeah, eight mile arc around key field? 47 Charlie, approved as requested. All right, maintain 5,000, eight mile arc around the field, 47 Charlie. I'm at the Birmingham 143. I'm at a three mile uh, arc around Key Field. My apologies, at least at eight, four, seven, seven. You're uh, four, seven, Charlie, say again. I think this is a three mile arc around Key Field, four, seven, Charlie. You're four, seven, Charlie, approves your question. Approach, uh, we're a uh, PA 28 with retractable gear. Uh, anybody down there have any options for us other than uh, power off landing? We're going to. See if we can get in contact with Piper and see if they've got someone that uh, that has a suggestion on that. In the uh, meantime, we'll just try to find the longest runway in the area. If that if that'll help you. Roger that, and uh, I have a mechanic. My mechanic's phone number, if uh, if that's an option as well. Uh, yeah, uh, get, uh, we're ready to copy. All right, stand by one. Q1, I got a rival on Meridian 6.0. All right, Roger. Um, I got an inbound. Currently uh, eight miles to the south of the field. Mm -hmm. uh, Piper 6347 Charlie. Mm -hmm. He's declared an emergency. He's got a stuck throttle. Um, right now he's doing an eight mile arc around, uh, uh, correction, a three mile arc around the uh, key field at uh, 5,000 and uh, trying to shoot, I believe he's trying to shoot the visual. Okay. He's, he's just staying with us for now. He's he's trying to sh troubleshoot right now, and he, eventually he will be the uh, a visual approach. Clarinet. So for now, we're just hanging on to him to see if he can troubleshoot that throttle. Okay. And any idea how much fuel on board, souls on board? Um, I'm not aware of that information. I'll I'll call you back whenever I get that. Okay. Nice right? And approach. The mechanic is uh, I have the number of advisor ready to copy. Uh, go ahead. Uh, name is Ray. Phone number seven one three four one. All right, we got it. Thanks. Memphis so TMU, Birmingham Tire Crush, Leaf Houston. Roger that. Four seven five. Uh, hey Ray. Hey, my name is Brad, and I'm a frontline manager at Memphis Center. We're currently working November six three four seven Charlie. Devin. His name is Devin Miller, uh, the pilot of this aircraft. He is currently in an emergency situation. His throttle is stuck. Okay. And we were hoping maybe you could um, potentially walk us through uh, anything that we could do to get his throttle unstuck. Are you? Uh, are you on? Is he in the in flight? Yes, he is in flight. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, copy. Six three four seven, Charlie. We've got your mechanic on the uh, phone. He wants to know if it's physically stuck to where it won't move, or if it's moving without uh, any uh, reaction. Moving without any reaction, and I can't get the gear horn uh, when I get it down at the uh, retard position. Uh, copy. It's it is moving, but no reaction. And you said you're you are getting the gear horn. Uh, fully retarded. I do get the gear horn. for the Roger. It is moving, but no reaction. So it's fully retarded against the gear horn. It's fully retarded against the gear horn. Okay. Um, the only thing I could tell him there is he's in flight. He, he may have to cut, uh, come in for a landing and use his mixture to, to uh, turn the engine off. To turn the engine off, he said? 
that's the only thing I could I could recommend at that point. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the only thing I could think of is how much that we could do because you know when that cable breaks, it's it's designed to go to full throttle. Six three four seven Charlie. What the mechanic's saying is, it sounds like the cable may be broken. That uh, that you can uh, kill the mixture, um, but uh, and, and try to manipulate the throttle as much as possible for the RPMs. But um, okay. Let's adjust the arm standby. Can, okay, he can't drop a gear because he's too fast. So that's the other issue that we got. Can we? Can we? Is there a way to drop the gear, um, maybe manually or something, without? having to worry about that? So he's, he's going too fast to drop the gear? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, he's going to have to slow the airplane down um, and and get to his gear speed and, and just drop the gear. The gear is going to free fall. And he's saying if you're able to adjust the RPMs with the propeller, you may be able to uh, not have to kill the engine. Uh, roger that. We're... Uh that's full throttle. That's going to be pretty tough. Gotcha. Number four seven, Charlie. Uh, what Ray is saying is that that is um, pretty much the only alternative in this situation. That it's designed uh, by design. It goes to full throttle when the cable breaks. Oh, Roger that. I'm just uh, we're we're looking to see if we can dismantle the controls out here. See if we can visually see anything and. Uh, if not, we will likely have to do that. Four seven, Charlie. Your four seven, Charlie Rogers. Just to continue troubleshooting, we'll keep an eye on you. There's. It sounds like we still got a, you know, at least a few hours or a couple hours left. And if we hear anything otherwise, we'll let you know. Roger that. And is this ten thousand foot my uh, my best option here? There's another one here. Your four seven, Charlie Rogers. He is saying you should, even though it's at full throttle, you should be able to adjust that propeller and to just watch the uh, manifold pressure. Yeah, Roger that. If I pull back on the throttle, that pressure, uh, yeah, stand by. Yeah, I understand. Number 6347, Charlie's information. We're still working on getting a hold of Piper, and uh, Ray says he's going to make some calls also and get back to us. Roger that. Uh, we're just going to be hanging around. 47 Charlie. Roger. Ma'am, center watch desk, luck. Hey, Luck. It's Joe from the Den. What's going on? Hey, Joe. Uh, reference my November 6347, Charlie. Yes, sir. His throttle is stuck wide open. Evidence. So uh, we've been trying to get a hold of uh, someone from Piper, and we cannot. Do you happen to have a number where we can get a hold of them? He's wanting to see if there's anything else. I think his cable's broke to his throttle. Uh, the only other thing uh, he thinks he may be able to do is, uh, you know, make a long approach and try to cut the power uh, to get that gear down before he lands, which is a little bit risky. Okay. okay. So long approach, uh, and he's going to Key Field, right? Affirmative. <clears throat> yeah, okay. What's what they got? They got they got a 10,000-foot runway. Right. Um, if, yeah, let me let me just run over to safety to see if they have any info on that, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Take me uh, one minute. Hold on. Okay, sure. Uh, November 4, 7, Charles, is it still 10 and clear at Key Fielder? It looks at uh, 4, 7, Charles. We get IMC on the north side of 5,000, but it, it's still mostly clear. Roger. Key there. This is Kiwani. Uh, I'm just verifying for the uh, emergency. What what type of emergency uh, do you have? Emergency equipment do you have on the field? Do you have a fire uh, rescue? Affirmative. Uh, we have complete fire and rescue. Yep. Okay. We were just checking to make sure. Yep. Okay. Thank you. No update yet. And so, do you have emergency services at Key Field? Number four seven, Charlie Sagan. What do we have for emergency services at Key Field? Yes, sir. They've already been notified. Under that best case scenario, we will be uh, shut down, obviously, on the runway. Roger. Cherokee four seven, Charlie, and uh, we're on the phone with Rake, and he's uh, asking if you have a cell phone on you. I do. Uh, stand by. If I I may need to descend down to three thousand. Stand by with me, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. We'd have to descend down to 3,000 to, uh, to pick that up. All right, stand by. If you, if you want to do that, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll let Ray know. 
Well, does he have any, anything else for us, you think? Otherwise, we're just going to get ready for power off here. Uh, stand by. Yeah, he'd like to talk to you directly, if possible. Roger that. Uh, 5,000 for 3,000 when able. Number 47, Charlie, just send to maintain 3,000, and uh, just be advised, I may lose coverage uh, on radar. I'll let you know if I do. There is traffic 5 south of your position, southbound altitude, in the case 2,200. Again, maintain 3,000. All right, 5,000 for 3,000. 47, Charlie, we're just going to keep this uh, orbit going. Roger. Kiwani, uh, reference to November 6347, Charlie. Um, he's got a cell phone on board, and he's trying to get in touch with his mechanic. So okay. he's descending to 3,000 uh, just so he can pick up cell phone coverage. Okay. And he's still in a three-mile arc around uh, Key Field. So All right, that'll be fine. Make sure you don't launch anyone. Okay. SCH. Uh, November 47, Charlie, and uh, we're uh, just ending our call with Ray. He's standing by for your call, so whenever you're ready, uh, you can go ahead and call him. And I'll I'll try not to interrupt uh, if, uh, if, until you get back to me. Roger that. Four seven Charlie. And approach arrow. Four seven Charlie. Arrow four seven Charlie. Go ahead. All right. Spoke with Ray, and uh, we got the quadrant apart here. I don't think that there's going to be much that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to prepare for a power off landing. Uh, currently on uh, kind of on on a right upwind here, but. Uh, Best wind still favoring uh, one zero. Is that right? Or is, uh, runway zero one. Uh, it's uh, last I looked, it was variable at five. Uh, 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 looks like two one five eight Zulu METAR showing zero nine or zero six. But the other uh, towers uh, uh, land in runway one and four. Obviously, you're going to want one. Also, just an inf information on that: the uh, the Pappies, the one, are currently unser are unusable. All right, Roger that. And uh, just verify, uh, just let, let me know when you're ready to come in and if you do have the uh, field insight. Yeah, we're still going to the field. We're going to insight. I'm going to uh, set up for downwind on runway one. Uh, probably take it out about five miles, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm working down this uh, this descent. We'll take our time on touching down. We probably have to get tugged off. The only other thing that uh, just to be advised, if we can make sure it's clear, if we miss, and uh, I need to come back alive at the engine, I want to be coming out pretty quick. And, and uh, maybe actually, why don't you give me kind of a missed approach instruction here? You know, four seven, Charlie. Copy all. We'll plan runway heading up to uh, four thousand on a mist, and uh, to, um, we'll we'll switch you over to the tower with an approach clearance here in just a minute. Uh, we did look up some airplane information. Um, I just want to verify, uh, once you cut it and you get down to speed, are, are you able to extend the gear or do you need to do the uh, the manual uh, uh, gear extension? I need to, I need, I'm going to do a power gear extension uh, as soon as I turn final and uh, I'll get the gear down and lock before I cut the engine. Understood. All right. We'll let the tower know November 6347. Charlie, you cleared a visual approach runway one and just stand by this frequency for a moment. Clear visual approach runway runway one, and we'll stand with you for the test. Air traffic, West Vegas. Yeah, hey, this is Brad at Memphis Center. How you doing? Hey, Brad. Hey, man. References uh, four seven Charlie. Do you guys have crash vehicles there on site? You can scramble. We do. Okay. Waiting for him to come in and declare his emergency, and they're prepared and ready to scramble. Excellent. He is about to come in. He's he planning on doing a five mile uh, downwind to runway one. He's cleared for visual approach. His missed approach instructions are going to be climbing out runway heading to four thousand. Okay. Uh, and my uh, my D side controller is calling you right now, so you can go ahead and get those emergency vehicles standing by. Okay. Okay. We'll Thank you. Crash on now. Appreciate it. Bye bye. All right, Kiwani, uh, this is uh, November 6347, Charlie. It's currently two miles to the north-northeast of the field. Mm -hmm. uh, headed southbound to set up for a five-mile downwind uh, for the visual approach, runway one. Um, he's going to cut the engine, mm -hmm. requesting the uh, emergency vehicle standing by. He said he's probably going to need a tow off the runway. Okay. Um, in the case that he can't get everything worked out, he's going to try to turn the engine back on real quick, and uh, his climb-out instructions will be runway heading, climbing to 4,000. Roger that. 
All right. We're rolling the crash. Actually, the crash vehicle's fixing to be on station now. All right, Jack. All right, bitches. That's it. 6347, Charlie Radar Service terminated. Contact Key Tower on 133.9 or 7. 133.9 or 7, Charlie, appreciate all your help, and we will talk to you on the ground. Let's go late to 47, Charlie Radar. Taking the assigned to Elvis. Air traffic, West Yeah, it's Brad in Memphis. Uh, I do need a downtime on the 47 Charlie when he gets down. Uh, we'll just hold on. He on final now? Uh, he's on the ground now. Excellent. Excellent news. Thank you, sir. All right, have a good one. Appreciate you, too. Guitar. Do you want to... Our, our soup is saying that you got a phone, or he he got a phone call with a uh, downtime. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, he just rolled out. He's actually off the runway for four seven. Charlie is an arrival. So. Uh, Roger that. Okay, matches.